It's going to be a relatively short video on how to disassemble an Asus UL 30A series laptop. Uh, as you can see, I've already got it in a million pieces. I've done laptop repairs a few times. And what I'm doing on this particular one is the LCD on this laptop, when you would, uh, and I can't show you, but as you would raise or lower the LCD screen from the keyboard and the rest of the laptop, the screen would have a bunch of lines that would come on there and shake and shimmy. Um, and it's pretty easy to figure out that it's something going on with the LCD. And what it turns out to be most times is the cable that sends the signal from the motherboard to the LCD screen itself. Uh, it goes bad, it gets frayed, there's something in there that uh, some of the wires get jacked up. You can get a new one on eBay for about 15 bucks. Uh, placed a uh, you know make best offer for this cable and we got it for 12 and I'll, I'll have the part number listed in the description but as you can see I've already got the thing torn down and uh, the LCD panel itself exposed and the gray cable the end that goes on to the motherboard I've already gotten removed and so so I've already got it removed from the LCD itself. It's just a, uh, it just slides onto a connector on the back of the LCD, and same style of connector that actually goes onto the motherboard. And I'll try to show you guys that, along with some of the helpful hints to get this thing apart. With the keyboard off, you're going to come up with a variety of uh, small connectors. There's three of them right here and uh, I've got these two still in. Uh, they separate very easily once you know the secret and that is this black tab you pull it back with your thumbnail or a small screwdriver and it doesn't move back very much and you grab a hold of that little blue tab and then you pull the cable right out and in order to uh, put it back together you just do the opposite and it's hard because these cables are stiff. You gotta make sure that little black keep comes out. And there's a little black line right there on that blue cable. You're gonna push that until that black line goes in. And then you're gonna snap that uh, snap that black keeper closed. And then everything is in there nice and secure. Uh, when you are taking this apart you're gonna have to take a variety of these connectors off the motherboard and this is just an example here uh, a lot of these they're very small and they're fairly fragile and uh, you know they're hooked in just like so and the best way to get them out is just to take a really small flat blade screwdriver and just kind of work them out one side and then out the other and push them out and they'll eventually come out and there's going to be a lot of uh, tape holding these cables down. You just take the tape up and and go easy. Take your time. When you're putting all this stuff back together, make sure there's new tape that's going to come on there. Make sure you uh, take the backing off the tape, wrap it around the, the cable just like I've done there. Make sure you're routing everything securely the way that it was and that nothing is going to get pinched when uh, these hinges operate. So open and close your lid a few times. Make sure things are going to go the way you want them to before you seal this thing up. As far as reconnecting this stuff, you know, you just, you're just going to line it up and you're just going to gently push that in. Just going to gently push it in. And you can either use your fingernail or you can use a, uh, again, a small flat blade. And you're just going to push it in fit snug in there. You don't want to push on it too hard. And that's it. For the new cable that I'm going to put on here, I'm going to peel that backing off of both sides. I'm going to slide that into this uh, chrome looking connector here. And I'm going to use that adhesive to hold that cable in place. And it's going to look just like so. For this disassembly, well and reassembly, is going to involve separating and then reconnecting the motherboard. Okay, and that is done 
with this multi-pin electrical connector right down there uh, and then it's going to go into this side of the connector here the trick is because of this stanchion here for this mounting screw you don't have a lot of room to do this in fact it's almost impossible unless you take up all of the screws there's two long ones here and then there's I don't know a handful more uh, that you've got to take out in order to get this thing to where it will also come up so you can get a little play in there uh, and there's one also tucked away underneath this black cushion but you're going to want to take all these up you're going to want to get some flex in this so that you can uh, get this thing up and you can connect these two and disconnect them without bending these gold pins you definitely don't want to bend that stuff or you'll be replacing more than a monitor cable okay, so the next part you're going to need to do is to dismount this LCD screen from the base itself and that is held on by two screws one here, or I'm sorry, four screws, two on each side, one here, one here and uh, one here and one here the front screw is a very short one uh, this back one is a little longer and I'll show you the difference here uh, which isn't just a whole lot but there you can see the two screws uh, that one is quite a bit longer than that one although they're both pretty small short one goes in the front okay so you need to disassemble the screen in order to get that gray cable to the other end of this gray cable it connects up to the LCD screen right up here by the ASUS symbol in order to do that there are uh, six screws on this front bezel you gotta take out one two three four five six and they are all under a uh, little plastic rubber uh, protectors or hideaway things or whatever they are so they go right over the top of the screw you just peel these off with a screwdriver and then set them aside they're uh, very sticky they'll restick when we get the screws back in there and uh, cover that up so when you get all the screws out what you're gonna do is the cover is still snapped in place you're just gonna you're gonna stick your fingernail in there and you're gonna work it around and just pop it up all the way around until this bezel comes completely off and then you can see the separate LCD behind there that's the actual LCD and then the and the cable itself actually connects right here and you can pull all that out and uh, take the cable off and replace it you want to make sure that you route those cables when you put all this back together on the inside of where this is going to go. You don't want them to be flapping out over here. Same thing goes for your Wi-Fi antenna on the other side. Make sure you route it to the inside of that hinge. One of the things also that you're going to have to do is unhook the Wi-Fi antenna from the Wi-Fi card. If you've never done this before, you feel like you're going to break it because uh, it's a very very small wire and it's a very small connection but actually this little connector right here uh, this wire actually is just gonna snap right onto that this little white connector right here this wire the copper end is gonna snap right over the top of it and you won't break it 